No answer yet again. And you're sure your dad's with Sabrina? Of course I'm sure. She said that they were at the Broad Contemporary Art Museum. <laughs> I just don't see your dad dropping a cool quarter of a million on a... My kid could paint this, but I don't know. Maybe Sabrina can change his mind. Did you know that Adam knew about my dad's strip and he lied to me about it? Why? I don't know. He said that my father didn't want anyone to know where he went. Well, that sounds like Victor. Maybe he didn't. Well, I'm his daughter. I'm the co-CEO of his company. Then why'd you have to figure it out? My point is, is that Adam is playing those mind games again, and it's really starting to annoy me. The Newman jet has landed. He's on his way in now. Oh, well, thank you so much for the update. I still can't figure out why he went to Los Angeles, though. Well, you think maybe he went to see your friend Sabrina? Why would you think that? Curious. He showed me a book that she'd given him on the art scene in the East Village in New York. I remember some of those painfully hip galleries back when I worked in Manhattan. Oh, maybe she's helping him add to his collection. Well, then visiting her would make perfect sense. But I guess we'll just have to wait and ask Dad. OK, wait a minute. You're telling me my father, who hates contemporary art, <laughs> is actually considering some buys? Where did you take him? The Broad Contemporary Art Museum and not the Getty? And he went voluntarily. Oh, sure. No, that's fine. Um, call me when you get to New York. OK, love you. So your dad's going to hire Sabrina, huh? Yeah, it's possible. He would be a great start for her client list. If this happens, uh, how much would she make? Oh, that depends. I mean, some consultants, they charge by the hour. Some of them take a percentage. I guess she just worked that out with my well, father. It's, it's a great deal for her. It's fantastic. Do you mind if we stick around until Dad gets here? I kind of just want to kind of coax him in her direction. Welcome back, sir. Adam. How are you? You look good. How was your trip? Thank you. It was wonderful. Productive? Very productive indeed. All right. Well, you have to tell me all about it. Um, that? On the business. I did some work on the Oregon acquisition, but they have another suitor. You know, I'm going to buzz you. Hey. I'm going to buzz you. Wow. You look relaxed. Los Angeles must agree with you. I love the place. Sunshine, palm trees, beautiful women to look at, oh. restaurants. I'm jealous. It's too bad babies don't travel well. Do you have a minute? Of course. Actually, uh, something urgent came up since we spoke about beauty of nature. Well, Adam, that's going to have to wait, if you don't mind. I will have to talk to my daughter, all right? Not at all. Okay, well. After you. I spoke with Sabrina. And? And she said that you might possibly want to hire her to help you start your contemporary collection? Possible. Hmm. You know, I think that that's a great idea. I think that, you know, you, you start with a few pieces and mm -hmm. maybe choosing them would help you to take your mind off things. Of oh, what things, my mother? Well, Dad, I know how difficult the past few months have been for you, I know, with hope and the divorce and everything. Yeah, pretty difficult, but you know, I'm moving on. You don't always have to be so stoic, you know, oh, and isolated. Sweet. I'm not being stoic, you know. We all have different ways of coping. Isolation is not coping, Dad. Wait a minute, is this your way of sort of convincing me to avail myself of Sabrina's expertise? I gotta admit, you know, I wouldn't mind having a Basquiat in the Newman collection. Would it make you happy to know that I was working with one of your friends? Very. Really? Well, then who am I to make my daughter unhappy? No, I'm still at the office. Okay, I'll see you in a few. All right, bye. Meeting your mother? Yeah, we're gonna grab some coffee. Uh-huh. Sweetheart, how are you and Adam getting along? Um... Trying. Mm hmm. What about Adam? Jerry's still out, Dad. But sweet, don't remember, he's still getting used to us. You know, be patient. I suppose. 
Um, he and I had a very nice talk before I went to L.A. We talked about his mother and my relationship with her. Hmm. You know, it must have been weird not knowing that you were his father. I still feel very badly about that. Well, it's not your fault. You told me that that was Hope's yeah, call. Yeah, but think of all the things he was deprived of. I mean, he never knew his brother, nor his sister, nor his father. Can you imagine that? Family's one thing, company is another. Will you be patient with him, please? All right, I will. But I am not going to roll over and play dead so that but Adam I'm can not find his place. Asking you to do that. I'm not asking you to do that. Okay. Oh. Well, look who's that? We yeah. got one tired little dude here. Look who's that. <laughs> Good daddy <Hi>. can't drive. <laughs> look at that. Oh, he yeah. looks so tired. You know what? Figures in his mouth. He does that all the time. Oh. I think we should take him home. I'll just call mom and cancel. No, She'll no, totally no, no, understand. No, no. Go meet your mom. It's fine. I'll take him home. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, I'll see you later. Sure. All right. We won't be long. Okay. Okay. All right. You sweet little boy. That's Say it. goodbye, buddy. Yeah. Say goodbye. Good night. Let me take you to the door. Okay, T, let's discuss the security breach in the morning, okay? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. So. About the hacking. You still suspect Adam or what? No. Dad, I don't. Your instincts were right. He, he didn't do it. I'm very glad to hear that. But you're giving me the impression that you know who did. Well, we've handled it. I want to know what you know. I understand that. Sweetheart, I... this is my company. I want to be prized of everything and anything that goes on here. I know, but Dad, would you please trust me on this? Don't ask me any Victoria, questions. Victoria, my Victoria, daughter. do you... Now, we are not through discussing the security breach, so first thing in the morning, kindly have a report on my desk. Daddy, yes? you just please trust my discretion on this? I really do have good reason for asking. For now. Okay, thank yeah. you. You should go home and get some rest and unpack. I will do that. Were you out of town? Yes, I was in Los Angeles. Business? Uh, yes, and a beautiful uh, museum. First thing in the morning with that report, okay? Right. Thank you. Dad seemed somewhat cordial. Yeah, surprising, considering the look he gave me when I arrived. Oh, no, Mom, I think that that look was actually directed at me, not you. Really? Anything you care to share? No, it's just Newman business. It's internal stuff. I'll smooth it over. Have you heard from Sabrina? I have. She loves L.A. She's rubbing it in about the warm weather. Well, your father was in Los Angeles. They saw each other. She, um, she hopes that he'll become a client. Well, that would explain his beautiful museum comment. Sabrina hopes to broaden his horizons to contemporary art and sculpture. <laughs> Wish her luck for me. Actually, he seems kind of open to it. Oh, come on. Victor Newman and modern art. He thinks Monet is too edgy to acquire. No, he doesn't. All right. Slight exaggeration to prove a point. Your father is not a man to change his opinion easily about anything. Well, with a woman as passionate as Sabrina, I think she could persuade just about anyone. Hello, Sabrina. This is Victor. I just want you to know that I had a wonderful time. I enjoyed myself enormously and uh, hope you have a safe flight to New York. And looking forward to speaking with you soon. Bye. So where's David tonight? Oh, he's still at the office. You're the tough boss. You could have invited him to join us. Yeah. Well, it's kind of nice, just the two of us. Does he make you happy, Mom? Really happy? Yes, very much. He wants to set a wedding date. What did you say? Well, it's too soon, so I said no. It's good. Not 
because I don't love him. Sweetheart, if you're still hanging on to some fantasy that your father and I no, are going to I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I wish I could. I wish I could wake up tomorrow and find out that your divorce is just a, a horrible nightmare. Look, David and I are engaged. We will be getting married. I know. Thank you, sweetheart. You know, if this corporate thing doesn't work out, you'd make a hell of a waitress. Thank you. You're a little understaffed here for a late night. Now, I really want you to be comfortable with David and me. I know you do. If you tell me that you're happy with David, then I'm happy for you. But... I don't know, Mom. I know it sounds ridiculous. I know that I'm a grown-up. I'm a, a divorced, recently remarried grown-up, so my own parents' divorce shouldn't upset me so much. So, it's not that you don't like David. It's simply that he's not your father. I'm not going to comment on that. I know David from your campaign. Other than that, not much. What if I were to tell you that we're getting married next month? You said you were waiting, Mom. Well, let, let's say we change our mind. Mom, what is this? Is this some kind of a test or something? You don't need my approval. I mean, who am I to judge? Look at how wrong I was about Brad. If you tell me that you really know David, you really know him, and you know him well enough to want to marry him, then I say, follow your heart. David is very loving. He's supportive. But he listens. I couldn't ask for a better man. Hey, sweetheart. Dad, what are you doing here? I am having a late bite to eat. Where's your mother? She's in the powder room. Oh. Well, then you enjoy your coffee. Dad, uh, wait. You could, you can join us. Mm -mm. Do that. David's not here. If that's what you're concerned about. Sweetheart, why the hell would I be concerned about your mother's fiance? No, I thought that you might be interested to know that um, they're not planning on getting married anytime soon. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to do anything. It ain't gonna work. Good try though. I'm back. Hello. 